Hi, so this is just a quick little video to go through some of the cleaning products that I use um, when I'm fixing up a pony and trying to get her back up to uh, up to standard. Um, I guess the first thing that I wanted to mention, it's really important that you find a method that works for you. You will find products over time that will work for you and products that won't work. And it also depends on your comfortability as well. I think another thing that is really important um, if you're going to move into restoring and fixing ponies is to have your own space. Um, when I first started making ponies pretty, um, I didn't have a space. Um, I kept everything in a box and I just found that I was constantly losing things and I um, was, was finding it really hard to find a groove uh, when I was trying to get through a lot of ponies um, in a short period of time. The best thing I ever did was to find a space in the house where I could keep everything organised um, and obviously away from children if you, or pets if you have any. So this little uh, video, like I mentioned, is to just go through some of the products that I use and some of the techniques that I use. It's not everything that I do to fix up ponies. And I'm really just focusing on ponies that are dirty. Um, this is not about fixing mould or fixing pin dot or fixing <clears throat> cancer or, or any other of the main ingrained issues that unfortunately vintage toys are prone to. So, you've got yourself a dirty pony, where do you start? Well, the best place to start is as lightly as possible. You, you don't want to jump straight into um, going to the harsher chemicals. And the best way to start is by using um, a sponge, not the abrasive side, the softer side, and some dish soap. Um, and just trying to see if you can remove as much of the surface dirt as you possibly can. What I have found is that with this light approach, it's also, for me, not a very effective approach, but it is a good start, particularly if you're working with a pony that is, um, that is particularly precious to you or really expensive. You don't want to be jumping straight into the harsh chemicals. So what I will do is start with just normal dish soap and a sponge and just wiping over as much as you can. If you're finding that that hasn't removed as much of the surface dirt as you like, what I'd use is something called gumption. Now gumption is um, an Australian product and I think it's also from New Zealand as well. Depending on your area, it's depending on what you're going to find. Um, but I've just found that this is the most effective for me for getting rid of most of the dirt. It comes in a paste and all you need to do is add water to it and it turns into like a uh, like a, a, a very light toothpaste. I will use that alongside these baby wipes. This is absolutely amazing. Um, they don't disintegrate over the ponies. Um, it takes the gumption really well um, and it, they work fantastically in just getting rid of all that surface stuff. They're also a little bit abrasive um, in comparison to say tissues or serviettes or anything like that. Um, for more ingrained dirt, what you can do um, is use something called OxyClean. Um, most um, pony fixers and restorers will use OxyClean at some point, um, and this is just my view on it. So OxyClean um, comes in very many different forms. This one is actually from Audi, and I found that it is really effective. You want to avoid OxyCleans with perfumes like uh, Nappy San. Stay away from those ones. I wouldn't use Nappy San at all. This one is really effective in the fact that it has 32% sodium percarbonate. Well, what is sodium percarbonate? Um, sodium percarbonate is um, a cleaner as well as hydrogen peroxide. So when you add the OxyClean to um, to water, the sodium percarbonate starts to break down and it will turn into uh, what we would use in our washing machines and it will also turn into um, peroxide as well. So just be aware that when you're using um, OxyClean, um, the peroxide will 
activate and whatever you have in the oxyclean will be susceptible to some lightning and then on the on the flip side with the washing powder that we're using as well the washing powder is designed to pick up all the dirt and remove it so you really want to avoid using oxyclean on ponies with uh, glitter um, and like the princess ponies um, that have the uh, silver fashion on them um, because the sodium percarbonate will actually pick that up what I have found is this one is the best this is the highest level that I found at 32% um, some of the other brands will only go up to 28 maybe 30 but I found this one at 32 so given the fact that it's quite high I don't uh, soak for more than 15 minutes I will use tepid water to warm water um, leave it in there and it will loosen off some of that gunk and then you come in with the baby wipes after they've come off from the oxyclean and wipe off uh, that that really stubborn dirt the thing is with oxyclean though it does um, affect the hair um, but just with common hair cleaning with conditioner um, it'll come up quite well but you find that um, it can be the hair can come out quite filmy so as soon as you have finished with the oxyclean make sure you just rinse straight away okay so the other type of cleaning product I have used no I'm not cleaning my teeth is um, a tooth and some toothpaste just make sure that everyone knows that these are mine and these are for my ponies this is not for anyone to to use at any point so again this one comes from Aldi it's a whitening toothpaste um, just very similarly to the gumption it is um, slightly abrasive but this one in particular I have found is actually really really good for removing rust on ponies tails um, and um, so I found this one really really effective but a toothbrush and a toothpaste are absolutely amazing for so soft ponies so if you're cleaning a so soft pony um, go as lightly as possible so soak it under water get some whitening toothpaste a soft bristle brush and wipe um, and brush away that gunk now it will take some time you will need to do some rinsing and then some reapplication and some rinsing and reapplication but i guarantee you toothbrush and toothpaste for so soft ponies amazing um so what else do we have some other products that i have is um, a general cleaner um, so this one is called simple green um, i have found this one absolutely amazing for generally cleaning ponies um, for ones that i find that I'm uncomfortable using gumption for and dish, dish soap is just not working um, so this is a biodegradable I think this one's from New Zealand as well um, and I got this one from Bunnings and so if I have like a twice as fancy that is basically covered with cutie mark and I don't want to apply any kind of um, abrasive to it at all um, I will use simple green get this off it is absolutely brilliant <clears throat> so the I've got heaps of other cleaning stuff around here um, so the other types of things that uh, no, don't seem to have it that you can use um, to help clean a pony is um, peroxide um, I will make another whole video it deserves a whole video on the effective use of hydrogen peroxide on getting rid of stains on ponies um, like marker and all of those different types of things it is just amazing so I will find a day where it's sunny not today it's raining um, and I will put together a video for you on peroxide so I hope this little video on cleaning products helps you give some insight on how to start the process of finding a way to clean your ponies. Thanks, bye.